Welcome back. I'm feeling a little under the weather, so if my video today seems a little bit spacey, that's why. But today we're what we're going to be doing is we're, I'm going to be replying to a comment that was left on one of my videos about how to make a collection private so that if only if a customer is tagged with a specific tag will they be able to see what's in that collection. So let's jump into it. So sometimes you want to create a collection page that has password protection on it so that if a customer is tagged with VIP, then they can view it. If they're not tagged, then they would not be able to view the products that are on the page. This would be used in a situation where you want to have uh, people sign up for um, a membership uh, list and if they are approved on the membership list then they get access to products before the rest of the uh, the community does or before the rest of your customers do. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through and I'm going to show you how to set this up. I'm going to have to create three different pieces. We're first going to have to create a uh, collection that we are going to be able to assign a template so that um, the specific collection that we have Picked is going to be password protected. Um, the second piece that we're going to do is we're going to set up a page that's going to give some information if they've received um, a no access uh, item and they need to be told where to go to get access to it. So we're going to create that. And then the third thing that we're going to do is we're going to create a little bit of JavaScript to redirect them if they've gotten to the page um, and we want to make sure that they continue with their user experience even if we don't want to ever end up someone in a dead end if, as it were. So let's hop over to the screen. So if we're on our demo store here, the first thing that we're going to go and do is we're going to go and create a new collection. So we need to have a collection that we can work with. So if we go into products and we go to collections, we are going to go to create a collection. So let's go and create a collection. So the collection that we're going to have in here, this is going to be our private collection. Okay, and we are going to make this an automatic collection and we are going to tag it with, um, let's say we are going to tag it with um, Chanel, only our Chanel designers are going to be private. And then we're going to save it. This gives us a collection that we can now make so that when people go to um, view private collection, they will they'll be the only ones who are able to see this one. Now, before we move forward, we're going to need to create a new uh, collection template. Now, this collection template that we have is this is what's going to hold the code that's going to check to see if the customer is tagged and allowed to go into uh, the collection. So let's go to our theme templates and go and modify it there. So if we come back over to the store and we go to online store and we go to themes, we're going to go into our theme and we're going to go and edit the code. Now, where we want to do is when we're on the templates page, we're going to add a new template and we're going to create a new template and we're going to call it collection and we're going to call this one private private dash collection. Okay. And we're going to create this template. Now this template basically takes the existing collection template, duplicates the code over and creates a new template. So nothing has really changed yet. But what this allows us to do is if we head back over to products and our collections, we can now assign this new template to the collection that we just created in order to have um, different code render when this collection gets pulled up. So now if we have a look here under our dropdown list, we now have the option for private collection. So once we've done that and hit save, now we can go and modify the code in the theme template so that you're able to go and have it checked to make sure that a person has a tag, whether they're allowed to view it or not. So let's go back over to themes and go to edit code. And we're going to pull up that private collection that we've just created. So under the templates and we're going to go to private collection and we're going to do a couple of liquid code if statements. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to write if customer dot tags contains VIP show the collection else we want it to show some content saying that they're not able to do that and we're going to do that by pulling in um, a page that we've created on our CMS and I'm going to show you how to do that in a minute but first we're going to put the code in here and we're going to call this page no dash access dash content and then we're going to end the if
Okay. So what this first piece of code does here is if customer tags contains VIP. So what this is gonna look is it's first gonna look to see if the customer is authenticated, make sure that they're actually logged in. Then it's gonna go through the customer's profile and it's gonna check to see if it contains VIP. So if it does contain VIP, we want it to show the collection. If it doesn't, we want it to show the page content of the page that we created called no access. And we're gonna pull just the content in there and that's gonna end if. So once we save that, we are now gonna to need to go over to pages and we're gonna to have to create that text that is going to be displayed if we don't have access. So we're gonna go pages and we're gonna add a page and we're gonna call this no access. Now the page title is not super important because this is not gonna be a page that's gonna be shown anywhere else other than just as a place for you to hold the content. The reason we're using a page in this case is because it makes it easier for us to edit in the future. So this is a private collection. Please join our VIP member list to view it. Okay, some simple text in here. I'm gonna align it in the center and I'm gonna save it. All right, so what have we set up now? So now if we go to our private collection and we go into our demo store here, uh, I'm gonna actually go over to products and I'm gonna view that collection that we just created. Go to private collection. Now before I do that, I just wanna show you that I am not logged in. If I click on the login sign, it's going to ask me to log in. So I'm gonna show you what happens before we're authenticated. So if we go in and we view this private collection, it goes to check to see if we are authenticated, because obviously we're not, um, and then it comes up with the text that we entered into the page. This is a private collection, please join our VIP member list to view it. Okay, so now we're going to authenticate. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go and I'm gonna log into the store. Now I have gone and created a user account, so I'm gonna go into customers, and I'm gonna go into my user. What I need to do is I need to double check to make sure that this user has the tag VIP. Currently it doesn't. So we're gonna go VIP and we're gonna add that to the customer. Now if I go to the account and I log in, okay. Now I've logged into the store and if I wanna go and view that collection again, so we're gonna go back over to collections. I'm going to actually make this a little easier. What we're going to do is we're going to add it to the online store under navigations. So it's an easy click for us to get to. So we'll go to navigations and we're going to go to main menu. We're going to add in a menu in here and we're going to call it VIP collection. And we're going to set it to go to the collection that we just created, which is called private collection. Add that in there. So now if we reload our page, We have VIP collection and we can go over to it. Now that I'm authenticated, we can see I can now see my private collection. Now, if we wanna just double check that so that if a customer is not tagged with that VIP tag, I'm gonna remove that tag and hit save. Now, if I reload this page, we can see we get the content that shows up from that page that says, this is our private collection, please join our VIP list to view. So now we have the ability to go in and maybe add a uh, MailChimp email form uh, that would sign people up. Maybe we add an, a form in there that gets sent to us so that we can go and approve the people that have signed up for it. Uh, we can have a create an account uh, button added in there. Lots of options to do there. But that's basically how you go and make a collection private so that if someone wants to view it um, and they have been approved by um, the system that they've gone through the necessary steps, then they're able to, uh, to view the store. Thanks for coming by. I hope this was helpful. If it was, hit the like button. If it hit the subscribe button, if you want to get updates from me weekly, leave a comment down below if there's something that you would like me to make on a video. And we will see you in the next one.